becomes a main character in that series and that she has all this access to information and communication. And I thought, the internet is just that. It has so much information and it has the communication capabilities of the entire world. So I thought this was the best way to tell it because I've seen other performance methods and there are just too many characters and it gets a little confusing. So I thought keeping it centralized in one character, in Jane or the internet, in my case, really makes the story clear and it makes it also engaging because I think it's very different from most performance methods. How did you decide, um, because of the time span, what, was, what you included in your primary sources and what you included in your secondary? For secondary sources, um, you've seen that, that a lot of them are pictures that I include in my slideshow. As for the primary sources, I tried to pick out the ones that were most relevant to what the internet as a turning point was. Originally, when I had performed this at Cooperstown, I mean the New York State level, I had included something more technical about TCP slash IP and how that protocol really changed the internet, but I t ended up taking that out because it was too technical and also it didn't clearly link back to how the internet is a turning point socially and as a communication and information tool. So I ended up picking from my primary sources what I felt was most relatable, most understandable, because TCP slash IP, I never fully understood the technical aspects, but I felt I had to include it because every single source I used ended up mentioning TCP slash IP as a very important technical issue. But for us, the history, that wasn't important, so I didn't include that. <coughs> Why a performance instead of the documentary Okay, so um, I really love performing and I hope you were able to see that I, I have a lot of enthusiasm. So I had set my heart on the performance category because I think that is the most engaging out of all of these categories. And also because I felt that the internet, I personified her like kind of inspired by Jane, but the internet really has become an important player in our lives. and. I think a lot of us, especially teens, like we spend a lot of time on the internet. It's really become almost like a friend. Like we interact. I would say that a lot of us interact more with the internet than with other people sometimes, than one individual person. So the internet has really become almost as important as people, like individual people used to be, like Martin Luther, like individual people. So the internet has almost become a person. How it's so influential on its own and how people end up interacting with it as if it were a person. So I wanted to really personify that and show how important that was through a performance by personifying the internet and really bringing alive the history of the internet and how it changes people and how it is affected as well. I uh, enjoyed your presentation. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> performance, especially when you remember this, because I grew up with a young man Uh, what what primary source do you think just brought on the you had a lot of source, but what primary source was the most effective to help uh, tell us what? I don't know, because the history of the internet was so long that I, you know that I started out using secondary sources to see which one cross reference and because the history was so long that I used a lot of primary sources and the one I think I really thought was the most interesting and useful was I used Leonard Kleinrock's website and that really showed me that wow, these people were real, like they actually existed, there was a time before the internet. And that really brought it home to me that there was something before the internet <laughs> because I grew up with it so I didn't really understand and I had to interview a bunch of people. But I would say that Leonard Kleinrock's site really showed me that there was a time before the internet. Well, I'm supposed to ask you as a survey, and this has no impact on your scores. I don't. I do not think you're, you probably use the Chronicle America Library of Congress website. It doesn't matter if you do because it's up to 1922. So, okay. Anything else? No. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.